Hello, today I'm going to talk about bipolar disorder. In this video, I will define bipolar disorder and outline the symptoms and the treatment of this condition. According to the ICD criteria, a patient must have at least two episodes of mood disturbance, at least one of which must be mania or hypomania, to diagnose bipolar disorder. So in other words, to diagnose bipolar disorder, a patient does not need to have a depressive episode. A patient could have two episodes of mania, two episodes of hypomania, or an episode of mania and hypomania. So a patient would not need to have a depressive episode to diagnose bipolar disorder. This can confuse a lot of students, but it is important to be clear on this concept. This is because all cases of mania, there will be depression eventually. So depression will eventually appear after the mania. In lay terms, bipolar is seen as an elevation of mood, i.e. mania or hypomania, coupled with times of severe drops in the mood, i.e. depressive episodes. Now, how can we distinguish between hypomania and mania? Well, they are both elevations of mood, but what is the difference? Well, in mania, there are psychotic symptoms and marked impairment of social functioning. This is not the case in hypomania. What causes bipolar disorder? Like all affective disorders, bipolar disorder can be linked to the monoamine hypothesis. This is elevation of substances such as sertraline and noradrenaline, which can increase mood, whereas depletions of these substances can lower the mood. Bipolar disorder has a lifetime risk of 1% and there is increased incidence between males and females. What are the symptoms of a manic, a manic episode? These can be remembered by the mnemonic dig fast. A patient with mania is disinhibited and distractible. They may be flirtatious and sexually bold. They may engage in risky spending they may also appear very sociable and talkative. Someone with mania will have impaired insight. In psychiatry, insight means the ability to recognize one's mental illness. Someone with bipolar disorder during a manic episode may think that nothing is wrong with them. A patient with mania may have grandiose delusions. A grandiose delusion is a specific type of delusion. The patient may believe they are particularly noteworthy, important or significant. For example, a patient may have, may believe they have superpowers, that they are Jesus, that they could rule the country. These are examples of grandiose delusions. A patient with mania will also have flight of ideas. They will have increased activity and increased appetite. Their sleep will be decreased. They will be more talkative. For all these reasons, it may be very difficult to obtain a history from a patient during a manic episode. What are the differential diagnoses for ma manic episodes and bipolar itself? So someone who presents in this heightened state of activity, you may think, oh, it could be an episode of bipolar disorder, but it could be alcohol or drug abuse, hypoglycemia, side effects of drugs like steroids or frontal lobe dysfunction. These are all differentials for manic episodes in bipolar disorder. What is the treatment? Well, you should assess the patient fully to see if they are at risk to themselves. A patient may get into a large amount of debt during episodes of mania. During acute episodes of mania, an antipsychotic such as olanzapine 
should be given. Second line therapy is lithium. This should be given if a patient does not respond to the antipsychotic. For long term management of bipolar disorder, lithium, a mood stabiliser, should be offered. Please check out my video on lithium to learn more about this important drug so you can use it in your discussions with patients and explain it clearly. Thank you for listening to this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel.